hands dirty with some serious ebook brainstorming. Always up for a good brain picking session. That's the spirit. So today we are tackling ebook topic research. Oh yeah, that's the foundation, isn't it? Got to start strong. Definitely. Like we're not just talking about picking something you find vaguely interesting. Uh uh-uh. uh got to be more than a passing fancy. Right. We want to make sure it's a topic that people are actually searching for, you know, something with real market viability. Absolutely. Got to be something that readers are clamoring for. Exactly. So for this deep dive, we've got a stack of resources here. Articles, interviews with successful authors, you name it. All about finding those golden ebook topics that'll really resonate with readers. Love it. Let's crack them open and see what nuggets of wisdom we can find. Okay. So one thing that really jumped out at me was just how important it is to approach this like almost like detective work oh yeah that's a great analogy you got to be a bit of a sleuth right you have to gather clues about what readers actually want what are they interested in what are their pain points what are they searching for online exactly i mean think about it we don't want to spend months writing an ebook that nobody's going to read totally so that brings us to keyword research i know i know it sounds a little technical but honestly it's one of the most powerful tools we have couldn't agree more. Keywords, keywords, keywords. Like yeah. They're the key to unlocking that writer interest. Right. And there's some really simple tools out there that can help us out. Like one of our sources mentioned Google Trends. Ever use that? Oh, yeah. Google Trends is like my secret weapon. It's yeah. amazing to see what people are actually searching for online. Right. You can plug in a potential topic and it'll show you how often people are searching for it. Like let's say you're thinking about writing an ebook about, I don't know, sourdough bread baking Mm, sourdough love it right so you could pop sourdough bread baking into google trends and it will show you if it's a hot topic or if interest is you know kind of fading and you can even compare different keywords which is really cool see which one is getting more traction maybe uncover some related terms you hadn't even thought of oh totally that's a great tip one source had this crazy example about how Searches for raising chickens in urban environments have just exploded recently. Whoa, really? That's wild. Urban chickens, huh? I know, right? Who knew that was a thing? But it just shows you how sometimes the most unexpected topics can have a huge audience. Absolutely. It's all about keeping an open mind and tapping into those trends that are bubbling under the surface. Totally. Okay, so we've got our keywords. Now what? Well, next up, we've got to scope out the competition, see what's already out there in the ebook world. Right. Like, are there already tons of ebooks on our topic? Exactly. And if so, what are they doing well? What could be improved? Are there any gaps we can fill with our own unique perspective? Okay, that makes sense. So it's not just about finding a completely unique topic, it's also about finding a unique angle, right? Exactly. You can definitely write on a popular topic. It's more about. Figuring out how to differentiate yourself. What's your special sauce? I like that special sauce. And you know, it's funny because when I was reading through these sources, I realized that we're not really starting from scratch here, are we? Like there are already these awesome communities built around almost every topic imaginable. Oh, absolutely. Don't reinvent the wheel, right? Tap Mm. into those existing communities. Right. Facebook groups, online forums, subreddits, all these places where people are already gathering and talking about the things they're passionate about. And they're gold mines for ebook ideas. Seriously, go hang out in those spaces. Listen to the conversations. What are people struggling with? What questions are they asking? What do they wish they knew more about? That's brilliant. It's like having a direct line to your target audience. Exactly. Their problems, their frustrations, their aspirations, those can all spark incredible ebook ideas. So, Let's say we've done our keyword research. We've scoped out the competition. We've even dipped our toes into some relevant online communities. What's the next step? Well, now comes the balancing act. We've got to find that sweet spot between what we're passionate about and what the market actually wants. Right, because writing an ebook is a big commitment. It takes time. It takes energy. You're not going to make it very far if your heart's not in it. You said it. And honestly, your readers will be able to tell if you're not genuinely interested in the topic your writing will lack that spark, you know. Totally. One of the authors we read about was saying how they used to chase every trending topic, thinking that was the key to success. Chasing trends, yeah, that can be a tempting trap. Right. But they ended up writing all these ebooks that they weren't really invested in, and they just weren't happy with the work. And I bet the readers could feel that lack of passion, too. It makes a difference. Absolutely. So they made a conscious decision to focus on topics they were genuinely excited about. And what happened? Their writing became more engaging, their marketing felt more authentic, and their readers responded like crazy. There you go. Passion is powerful. But on the flip side, 
we can't completely ignore market viability either, right? Definitely not. I mean, even if you're super passionate about, let's say, the history of antique thimbles. Antique thimbles, huh? Niche. I know, right? Mm -hmm. But if there are only like five other people on the planet who share that passion, it's going to be tough to sell an ebook about it. You have a very select audience. It's all about finding that balance. You need passion. You need expertise. But you also need to know that there's an audience out there who's willing to pay for what you know. Right. So how do we do that? One source suggested really digging deep into understanding your target audience. Think about their demographics, their interests, their problems, their aspirations. Their hopes and dreams. Exactly. The more you know about them, the better you can tailor your ebook to their specific needs and desires. So to wrap things up, it sounds like we've got a pretty solid toolkit for finding those awesome ebook topics. We've talked about using keyword research, analyzing the competition, tapping into existing communities, and of course, balancing our own passion with market viability. It's a recipe for success. It really is. But now it's your turn, dear listeners. This is where the real work begins. Exactly. Now that you have all these tools and strategies, what one topic are you most excited to explore further? Think about it. What unique knowledge and experience can you bring to the table? And what audience out there is just waiting to hear what you have to say? I can't wait to see what amazing ebook ideas you come up with. Me too. All right. Till next time. Happy writing, everyone.